This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have a community replay sent in by Seamot Gareth. You guys know him. He's had some pretty epic games so far and this is going to be no no exception. He's in the T3485M tier 6 medium tank and uh, he's going to show us how to play because I uh, hear this is a very good game. And considering he only has 10 rounds of premium ammo, um, I'd say he probably knows what he's doing here. So, uh, should be fun. What do you guys think? He's, he's on fjords. He's going to the top mid. And that's pretty normal play for pretty much any medium and light tank. Because uh, they can get there quickly, use the ridge line, and shoot people. So, pretty, pretty usual position early in the game. It'll be interesting to see how he uses it, though. There's a lot of light tanks against him. I'm surprised he hasn't spotted any of them yet coming rushing across the center. Speaking of which, hey, he found one. He's right around the corner from him, and there's a T-37. Hello, sunshine. 192 damage. And the rapid fire gun is ready. Put another 200 on him. And are we going to finish him off, or is the other guy that hit him going to? And down he goes. Now, he does hit us there. Uh, T-37, no slouch, you know, that American uh, light tank. But, uh... It's, it definitely had a nice punch to it because it hit him pretty good. Hit him for, what, 140? So a nice shot there. Um, we've got the backside of all these guys here. We've got the light tank running from us. Uh, he knows he's in trouble. He's got to be careful, though. That is an AMX 12 ton. And uh, you know what French means. <laughs> Auto loader. And he is just getting chewed up, luckily for him. Light tank runs into the uh, mountain and kind of flubs himself. Can't aim up with that autoloader. Kind of like the stage 2. You got to watch with the stage 2, I've noticed. When I'm in my uh, stage 2, I tend to uh, get on the backside of ridge lines. Excellent gun depression. Terrible gun elevation. Uh, it only has 8 degrees of gun elevation. And that'll get you into trouble. Now this VK here is just completely completely oblivious to the fact that he's getting shot I guess and he just sat there and took it now there is a light tank taking their base right now there's a medium out there and we've got the RD spotted hello Hummel how you doing yeah that's that's why you should start paying attention brother if you're in an RD and you're so um, wrapped up in what you're looking at that you don't notice that you're spotted you deserve to be killed um, if you're going to play an arty, you have got to be situationally aware. Now, he was spotted multiple times coming straight through the center, and that arty never even bothered. So that, that just goes to show you how costly tunnel visioning in an arty is. Um, and now we've got all these juicy shots right on the back. we got this poor Polish tank here who's like, Oh my God, I'm being shot! But it's too late. Oh, and he low rolls just enough to leave him alive so that we have to waste another shot on him. And down he goes. Still haven't used any premium rounds. But we've got the backside of a uh, Stridsvon. We've shot Polish tanks, Czech tanks. We've shot German tanks, French tanks. Like, we're going through every every nation in the game right now. Uh, speaking of which... <laughs> that would be a mercenary tank. Now, it looks like he's already swapped over to... Uh, armor piercing uh, composite here but I don't know if you necessarily need to but that's why you have them for tanks that you're not sure you would be and there he actually only manages to hit the track uh, he definitely wants to aim the shot oh no this is it he's gonna die come on oh he gets the reload just in time now it's a two versus three and it's very close he's still on that premium which I'm not uh, you know he doesn't necessarily like I'm not against it because he is a 2v3 situation right now definitely want to get this Panzer 4 hydrostat off of here as quickly as possible but be careful he's got a nice gun too you don't want to pull out you you don't have the hit points um, you're, you can see that he's, he's trying to get the medium behind him to move up maybe take a hit for him I don't know how many hit points he has but we do have the light tank moving in still using that premium the medium moves up, gets the hydrostat out of there. We hit the light tank and we put his engine down and that's gonna probably do it for him. Now, where was that other, is that light tank the, 
the one that was on the back side there uh, all the way at their base is he coming all the way back is that what this is now we're spotted still now we've disappeared and it looks like these guys are headed towards their base now there's nobody capping the base but they figure he hasn't come in front of them at this point maybe he's trying to flank them and it's not a bad choice also a good thing to think about would be to possibly use your high explosive you've got six high explosive rounds are we going to use them it's light tanks this is like the best possible chance of getting them uh, and you can see the red is being capped now these guys are going to go ahead and make that light tank come to them and uh, that's a great play and he's going even further downhill so that he can just kind of stick the turret up not that it really makes much of a difference but it might against a light tank you know it's it's very possible and they're they're watching both sides of the circle which is absolutely fantastic as well uh, actually the other medium must have heard me because he's moved up into a place he can't really watch the other side but uh it is what it is even if he can't see over there he'll at least proxy spot him now they've got six seconds and the light tank comes around the corner and Gareth gets the final kill well done Gareth um, 27 pins nine kills that'll be a Radley Walters is that a pulls medal too I can't remember is nine kills a pulls medal or is it ten I guess we'll find out so what do we end up with guys jammer contract complete well not quite complete there's still XP needed but 87,000 silver 11,000 XP because it was times two nine kills 3,500 damage 335 blocked we get the Mastery Ace Tanker, of course, the Devastator, Radley Walters, Spartan, Steel Wall, all the good stuff. I didn't see the Pools Metal pop up, so it must be 10 kills. So if you like what we're doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.